gets a nerf here. We are going first. This is it. This is a big swing game in this uh, deck wars. We are going mono order, late game order, and he is going with um, mono decay. So it's going to be a nice big match here, and we're going to draw a new star hand. We don't want that early speed and imperial resources in our hand, and our first drop is a four drop, which isn't that good. And this time it's much better. We are able to get a turn one aging knight. We know he's decay though. So, like I said, it comes down to these last three games. Whoever wins two of them will be the winner of the deck wars. I don't know what his last deck is after this deck. He doesn't know what my last deck is after this deck. Uh, what do I want to do? I like Eternal Sword a lot because even if like he has damage curses, it's hard for him to get rid of it because it just keeps latching onto other things. So I'm, go I'm actually going to sacrifice the Wings Captain. I think the Wings Captain is not as good anymore now that it has only 3 attack. The 4 attack really put it over the top of being good scroll because 4 attack just kills so many so many big threats and 3 attack just doesn't. So now let's see, does he have a Languid, does he have a Tribesman? It's construct. Okay, his Mono Decay deck had Constructs. Interesting. Purification. I almost want to keep that card. I put that in this uh, Mono Order deck because I have a feeling I would be facing some of Blinky's like, growth enchantment deck and like stuff like that. So that's why I put them in here. So there's two more in this deck, so I don't think I have to worry that much right now about sacking it. And I could go with the Eternal Sword on this dude and destroy this Construct. I want to get rid of the Construct before it gets too big. I do have flips and all that, and he gets the soul steel, and it gets to go next to that, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, decimation, eternal sword. Let's get let's get sack, sack the vanguard. Oh, let's see, we get a wing shield. Good. Okay. And I will be able to destroy that with a decimation. This little dude. Maybe he'll maybe he'll damage curse now, but this little dude would die then. And he's going like that. Um. <laughs> Let's see, Eternal Sword, what does that even do? That's gonna let you kill you, and then you're gonna be poisoned. So let's go with the Eternal Sword, sacrifice the Decimation. Wait, or, so with both of these, with a Decimation or an Eternal Sword, both three drops, I'm gonna be able to play the Agent I'm gonna sack one of them, I'm gonna keep my Imperial Resources, and I'll be able to kill both of these. So which one do I do? I'll probably go the Eternal Sword, right? Yeah, I'll go with the Eternal Sword. It's not aggro order where all the little idle damage early is going to be in it a lot. So let's go with the Eternal Sword. So now you die, you're going to have 6 health. He's probably trying to get an Animal Gore. I'm going to have Impaled Resources here. I don't want to sacrifice it, but I might have to if there's like a 4 drop that I draw or a 5 drop. And he gets the Curse Monger. So you are going to die. And do I sacrifice the Imperial Resources? Yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice it. It's gonna take, I don't think I'm gonna be able to play it soon. And it was a good thing I sacrificed it because otherwise I wouldn't have anything to play this turn. I could go for the, actually I would, I could go for the Roasted Bean Potion. And that would let me destroy this now. What's four damage plus five damage, it's nine, and that doesn't do enough to kill you, but you die very easily. And I do have Kabonks in this deck. So I'm going to actually play the Roasted Bean Potion now rather than later because I want to get rid of this when I can. And I'll just put you in the back. So too bad that thing's not dying, but I'll try to... A Kabonk draw would be really nice because I can play the Kabonk and the Skirmisher. I think only a... Or no, I think I took out the Kabonks out of this deck because, uh, to add in the Purifications. But a Purification would be nice to cure this guy of the Poison. I would not mind that, or Decimation, so I can kill that Curse Monger. Or Blessing of Haste. Lots of things would be nice. I want the Blessing of Haste the most, I think. Hmm. Eternal Sword. Hmm. <laughs> Sack the Vanguard. Hope we can get something. Roasted Bean Potion. Uh, I really wish I could play both of these. I need one more resource. Roasted Bean Potion, what does that even do? You're gonna be able to kill what? What are you gonna be able to kill? You're not even gonna be able to kill this dude, but a decimation would kill both of you. 
Um, let's just let you die. Yeah. I want to let you die. You can die. You can die. You can die. Because I can go Roasted Bean Potion Eternal Sword on this Royal Skirmisher. Worst case scenario here, he he has Damage Curse Beast. He would curse this first, and then you Damage Curse this dude. And this guy would die. <sighs> okay, so he does go to the Curse Down. I hope he doesn't have a Damage Curse. Cross our fingers here. It's a Languid. As long as he doesn't have, like, a Tribesman, I should be able to clear his board. If he doesn't have a Tribesman, I should be able to clear his board. Right? Because this would kill that. And then I would have, what, five damage? Oh, this guy's actually going to gain the Eternal Sword. Actually, that was actually unintended. And I'm going to clear his board now. Awesome. Um, do I even need to use the Eternal Sword? Two plus, that's going to have, so this is going to die, that's going to have four health, and that's going to be four plus one is five, so I don't need to use the other Eternal Sword, so I'm going to take this chance to just play a Wing Shield and a Roasted Bean Potion. So let's play the Roasted Bean Potion. And let's have a wing shield be the thing that has the wing shield with the extra, with the two attack, be the one that's with the protector. So awesome. Big play right there. Very big play. I do have an eternal sword. And this would be a good time for Demon Curse, but it wouldn't be able to do anything else on this turn. But because then it would at least the eternal sword is going to latch onto the Aging Knight, which isn't a huge threat. It's three counts down, and it's going to increase. But it's good. He did not have the damage curse, I don't believe. And a flip is really good against decay, but I will sacrifice it. Because I want to get another eternal sword. And awesome. We are going to be able to do good stuff. We're going to Um Put you there. I'll move you up. I'll put the skirmisher behind. Or the scholar. No, I want the skirmisher. So in case you have a damage curse, I have a chance I have a one three chance of it lashing onto you. So maybe I should have moved this uh, agent. No, where was the agent at? The agent was there, right? I don't know. I don't remember. Harvester. So that means Dr. Damage Curse. We got we to get rid of the Harvester. But we have flips. And I think we have a couple pothers. I don't know. Brain Lice. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. I would... I thought... I would think you... I understand if you don't want to put Brain Lice on this guy or this guy. Because, um... They, uh, they have four health, so they wouldn't actually die from it. But the wing shield, I would think he brainless. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep that pother. That's a good pother. I'm gonna sacrifice the eternal sword. As much as I don't want to, though. Oh, I don't want to sacrifice the eternal sword. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I have other movement spells, so I'm gonna sacrifice the pother. I get decimation and a speed. I do not need that. I'll just play the Night Scholar. Um, I want you to be in the center of the board because you have Roasted Bean Potion. So let's go like this. You in the center. And then I'll put this Night Scholar up here. I think this, I should have put the Asian Knight down here so he's not adjacent. And also forces him to move off if he wants to get two idle damage off. Yeah, I don't want him adjacent to this because if he dies, I want to make sure it goes on something actually useful. Okay. Plays more stuff. We have no pother. Now I kind of wish I had the pother because I could get it off now. Um, hmm. You know what? 
we're gonna go for a turtle sword decimation. We're gonna go with the decimation. Ooh, where do I wanna go with the decimation? It's tough because. Hmm. Um, I could go with decimation here to make all these guys a little weaker. Or I can go with the decimation here. And so I don't have to use eternal sword on this guy. And he's gonna kill that, and that's gonna be a one health idol. Now nah, I wanna weaken up these guys. So let's go with decimation there, and then I'll go with the eternal sword to take you down. And you're gonna have two countdown. Is there a way for him to do stuff with two countdown? We're gonna run away. We're gonna we're gonna ramp up with that Imperial resources next turn. We're a runner. We are runners. What do you have? You have eternal sword and you have eternal sword. Okay. So, even if he does get these two harvesters to attack, my idols are not low, so I'm not that worried. And next turn, I will just play the Imperial Resources, get heal that guy up from the poison damage he took. Um, this guy, would he get healed? He would. He would get healed by one, too. So both of my really good skirmishers would get healed. Third harvester. Oh, wow. You have Roasted Bean Potion. I can move down. I'm going to sack the center for the Imperial Resources, though. I could move down. I could hope I get like a focus. Oh, oh, we have this draw scroll. I almost forgot. Decimation. What do I want to sack here? Let's sacrifice the decimation. The decimation. Wait, the decimation on this row. You can treat that as like a focus. So let's say you had eight attack. That's six plus. But still, even if I go with decimation here and move you down to, I can sack the scroll and see what else I get too risky. I think I just want to go with the Imperial Resources. I'm going to go with the Imperial Resources and sacrifice the Decimation. No, the General, because I think I already sacrificed two speeds, and I only have two speeds in the deck. And another Eternal Sword. So I actually would have been able to destroy this Harvester, but then this Harvester would be attacking, and that Harvester would be in like two countdown. And nobody likes that. You both... What do you have? You don't have Versa Bean Potion, do you? Uh, da, 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 da. So that's our turn. Um, I'd rather do more idle damage down this way. So he could necro again. It would hurt. He's definitely still in this game. I like our position, but we want to get some flips. Where's our flips? He's moving up. He's moving up. Let's see. Does he have a damning curse? Probably does, considering he's moving up. Does not have a damage curse. Maybe he did, but I don't know. And he gets the Animal War. I don't mind about the Animal War. And now, let's see what I want to do. Let's sacrifice the Night Scholar. I love that health boost, but... Blessing of Haze, Blessing of Haze. Ooh, yeah. Um, let's see. You're, you've roasted Bean Potion. You can move all the way down here. Blessing of Haze on you would give you 5 plus 3 for plus 2 for the Eternal Sword. That would be... um. 8 attack, no, 6 attack, no, 7 attack, what am I doing? That's enough to kill both of those harvesters. Awesome. And then this harvester might kill me. <laughs> How do I kill that harvester? This guy... A decimation down this row would be one... Uh, well, this guy's actually gonna... Let's see, how's this gonna work? I definitely wanna kill these two guys. So let's go with the... Decimation, I almost clicked Decimation. Let's go with the Eternal Sword. And now, after that, you're gonna take two damage from the Animal Lore, right? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna have two two health. So that's four, four plus three is seven. So, a Decimation should clear the board. It should, right? Because you're gonna have two health. Let's bless the of haste just, just in case, because I think we're set in this game. So even if we wasted a card, we wasted a blessing of haste. Yeah, even though we wasted a blessing of haste, um, it's okay. We wasted a card there. Yeah, we definitely wasted a card there. Wasted the second blessing of haste there. Okay, he damage curses, but he doesn't damage curse my eternal sword, guys. But that's because he's just gonna latch onto something else. Alright. Brainless there. 
and he can not good now you lost your poison let's go ahead and you have lent yeah I can focus and kill and then let's put you guys right in the middle did I put wings warders in this deck I think I forgot to put wings warders in this deck that's a misplay let's not I'm not sure if you can count that as a misplay <laughs> but whatever now I'll put the wings cap or do I put the third skirmisher down I'll put the third skirmisher down. Relentless galore. So one damage curse is not enough. And it's just going to latch on something else like I said. It's looking very good. It's crunch time in this deck wars. Okay, he is going to get another brain lice, so it's going to... Alright, so this is now a normal skirmisher. Actually, it's a now a royal skirmisher, not a ducal skirmisher, because it has three health. Uh, I'm actually gonna sacrifice the captain. I like the attack buff there. Um, uh, GG. He's gonna surrender. I mean, I have the game in, in my hands. So, yeah, there's he should surrender there. I don't think there's a way he can come back and win. So we get that big win, and uh, that was game three of the third series. So that means that we are going to use this deck again and we have two chances to to uh win the entire deck wars so i hope you guys will see what he's going to counter this deck well, like, he doesn't have a choice he has to go with his last deck he has to beat our he has to beat this our leaking order and our mono growth to win the deck wars we just have to beat one of those we have to beat one of his, we have to beat his last deck with one of those two decks this deck or mono growth so thank you all for watching subscribe if you like uh this kind of content like the video if you enjoyed and check out blinky's perspective so keep on scrolling, everybody.